Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I wanted to apologize to you guys about not getting a video out last week. I got I got really really busy, and I just I I really wasn't able to put out a video. I'm gonna try to put out the I'm gonna try to play catch up is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to put the, this review was supposed to be put out last week, and obviously I'm putting it out today. And I'm going to try to put out another one this week, but um, I might not be able to get to it until Sunday or Monday. So anyway, uh, this is the KVD jerkbait. This is that new jerkbait that Strike King came out with uh, a few months back and uh, had a chance to fish with it a few times. And I'm going to show you what it looks like up against a couple of the popular jerkbaits and uh, give you my thoughts on it. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So the Strike King... KVD jerkbait. Um, they have two different sizes. They have a 200 and a 300. This is the 300 size and it's a three hook model and then the 200 size is just a two hook model. The 200 size has a length of four and a half inches, a weight of three eighths of an ounce, three eighths of an ounce and a diving depth of four to seven feet suspending. And then the 300 it has a length of four and three quarter inches a weight of half an ounce and a diving depth of four to seven feet suspending. I think that four to seven feet, uh, especially the seven feet, might be a little bit ambitious. I'm sure that the four to seven feet is is pretty generic considering that they put it on both baits. Uh, without owning the, the smaller 200 size, I'm sure that the 200 is a shallower diving version. This is a shallow diving rip bait and um, I think that that smaller size probably gets down to let's just say four feet where this one, uh, having fished with it, actually, this is probably five, probably six feet at the most. Maybe if you were trolling it, you might be able to get down to seven or eight feet. So, uh, but working depth, I would say it's a five or six foot diving uh, rip bait. Let me show you guys my measurement here. Uh, without the rings, it is a little over, just the body is a little over four and a quarter inches. And then when you add the rings, it's a little over four and a half inches. And then when you add the bill, it's about four and three quarter inches. So it's about that 110 or 115 size. Um, I really like fishing with the with the larger sizes, which is uh, why I, I chose this one over the smaller size. Uh, I noticed that this one has a has a weight transfer system in it. Um, the weight transfer is just one single ball. Uh, I think on a bait of this size, it could have benefited from two balls moving towards the rear because uh, it does helicopter a little bit still. Uh, this is a functioning weight transfer system. It does help, but I think uh, if it had two, you probably wouldn't have much helicopter in it at all and you could really get uh, aggressive on some of the casts. But because this one only has one, I found that like when you really want to rocket it out there, um, when you when you bear down on a on a really hard cast, it starts to wobble and shake in the air, and it really affects the distance of it getting out there. Um, but it does have a rattle. You can see that it has this rattling chamber here. It's got three little balls, and then you've got the ballast chambers here for these two balls. So it's got a a good mix of high and low pitch. It's not the loudest uh, rattle system I've ever heard, but um, it is it is a decent rattle system. Uh, one of the first things that a lot of people are going to notice about any Strike King bait are the uh, treble hooks. Treble hooks by Strike King have let people down in the past. Uh, they've been made out of thin wire and they've bent easily and people have complained about uh, losing fish. Um, now, this is my opinion about this. I think that they've addressed this a little bit. Uh, the These are short shank treble hooks and they seem to be of a of a higher quality or at least a thicker wire than what they've used in the past. I mean, even just looking at them here, I mean, they look like they're fairly thick. So um, they they do yield to some slight pressure, but in jerkbait fishing, I don't really think that that's going to matter much. Just as uh, just as long as it actually pierces the mouth, that's all we're really going to care about because we're going to let the drag and our rod take care of most of of the fish fighting issues. So as long as the hook is halfway decent on a jerk bait, I think that you're going to be all right. It's not like fishing a, a heavy cover um, square bow crankbait that you really need some thick hooks when you're fighting a fish, kind of like fishing it like a spinner bait or something like that. So, um, so yeah, let me show you guys some comparisons up against some other jerk baits that we have here. I have a uh, Lucky Craft Pointer 100. You can see that the the Strike King is is pretty significantly longer. So there's the Pointer 100, and then you have the X-Rap 10, 
This is that 100 size again. So it's about the same difference. And then you have a Jack All Squad Minnow 95, so it's about the same difference again. So uh, some of the features on, on, on the body of the bait itself, you notice that it has three-dimensional holographic eyes. And then um, you can see that there is a, some embossing scale pattern on it as well as a, a raised gill plate. The gill plate is not as pronounced as some of the other baits that are out there, but it does have these features, which is nice because uh, I know that the, uh, the heavy cover um, square bill crankbaits by Strike King uh, and KVD, they don't have any features. They don't, there's, there's no, um, th there's no like scale patterns or anything on that bait. So, so yeah, let me uh, talk about what it was like fishing with it. Um, it has an actual, uh, a really good action. Uh, I didn't expect much out of it because uh, Strike King in the past to me has has paid attention more to their marketing, and it seemed like they haven't uh, haven't really paid as close attention to some of the functionality of the lure. So I didn't expect a lot, especially for seven or eight bucks. Uh, but it does actually have a really good side to side darting walk the dog underwater action to it. So. Uh, that is a plus. It does suspend really well too. It sits almost completely still in the water. It's not a slow float. It's not a sinker. Uh, it is a suspending rip bait. So that's that's a good thing. It does, however, suspend horizontally. We want it to suspend nose down, as I pointed out in my some of my other jerk bait videos. Uh, I had a viewer bring it up. Uh, one of the reasons why is because it imitates a, a dying bait fish um, better and. Um, the premier jerkbait fishermen of the world, like your Gary Dobbins and your uh, Mike McClellans, these guys, they, they want that thing to suspend nose down. So, um, so that's what we're looking for out of a, out of a good rip bait. So, um, so, but it's nothing that we couldn't fix with uh, another split ring on the front. Uh, you you want to be aware of adding too much weight on the front. Uh, because if you start adding too much weight, then you're going to turn it into a sinker. So if you have to add a, a split ring or two, that's probably going to be all right. But if you have to add you know, a couple split rings or one split ring and a larger hook, you might want to take this hook on the back and downsize it to a smaller size hook. These are just smaller details. Uh, I, I would assume that probably 90% of you guys probably won't care one way or another. Uh, when you want to fish with a jerk bait, you're just going to go out there and fish with it. But some of the uh, real meticulous jerkbait fishermen. This is information that they're going to want to know. So um, let's go over the colors here. I was really happy to see that Strike King got away from their uh, comfort zone and they didn't just slap on a bunch of um, varying sexy shad patterns like they've done in the past to some of their other uh, some of their other lures. They've actually expanded their horizons and got into some of the some of these uh, staple colors. This is kind of like a, a ghost minnow color. It's called clear water minnow. And then this is called pro blue. And uh, these are staples in, in rip bait fishing. These are very tried and true and effective, effective colors. And I was happy to see that they brought this in there. And not to say that a, uh, that a sexy shad pattern wouldn't be effective because they are, I have, I have plenty of them. But uh, I think things like, like you have a strobe shad on here that's kind of like a table rock. I think that these colors are important. Uh, and if you want to be a, uh, a relevant, um, if you want to be a relevant uh, rip bait company, then you've got to have some of these colors that rip bait fishermen um, look after. So those are my two cents about it. So pro blue, that's a color that you're going to find in like a mega bass lineup or like the knockoff Lucky Strike version of the Vision Edo. So, and Pro Blue is just a, a transparent blue back. It's actually showing up pretty accurately on the video here. It's got a little bit of uh, royal blue to it when you're looking at it from the side profile, and then it's got a little bit of black under the eye. And you can see that that uh, holographic finish there on the side, and then it's got a pearl belly there. So. It's a really, really nice clear water color. Most rip baits you're going to fish are going to be in clear water anyway, but uh, it's just a really nice looking color. So there's Pro Blue. This next color we're going to look at is Clearwater Minnow. 
kind of like a ghost minnow. Let me show you a ghost minnow. Here's a, you guys have seen me show this one plenty of times. This is a ghost minnow by Lucky Craft. Um, just kind of like a, a brown olive back. So on this one, it's a little bit darker. You still got that painted scale pattern on the back. And then uh, the cool thing about this is like when you shift it, you can see it's just, it's pretty much a uh, ghost minnow color when you're looking at it from, from this perspective. But when you shift it, you look at it and you can see that purple starting to come into effect there. So it's really got a good color changing effect there. And I bet um, that on a really, really bright sunny day in gin clear water, this thing is gonna look amazing. So, um, and then it's got a really good um, uh, pearl belly kind of transparent on the bottom. But overall, just the transparent uh, clear water lure that you could probably get away with in slightly stained water. So there's clear water minnow. So, there is the Strike King KVD Jerkbait, $9.29. It went up a couple dollars, but what are you going to do? Yeah, I think it was like 7 bucks, but it happens sometimes. Um, as a side note, uh, I wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers out there. I just recently reached a milestone of 1,000 subscribers, and I'm going to do a contest here in the next couple of days maybe within the next week. It depends on how busy I get. Just know that I'm going to do a contest and I'm going to give away some stuff. So um, so thanks a lot for subscribing to all, all the people that subscribed out there and that comment and like the videos. I really appreciate that. And um, we're going to make some more videos and we're going to keep on rolling with this review thing and keep putting out fishing videos. And uh, if you guys keep liking the videos, I'll keep doing it. So Thanks a lot, you guys. Appreciate all the support, and thanks for 1,000 subs. That's awesome. Talk to you soon.